Hi, my name is Christine. Three years ago, I stopped having PNES. It's also referred to as NES or NEAD. There's a journey to no longer having PNES. And the work that goes with it also includes forms of play. One of those forms of play is creation therapy. Some may call it art therapy. It could also be known as gardening therapy. But creation therapy is a simpler way that I can explain the whole genre of what you do within these different types or categories of therapies. See, our brain is made up of different sections. And where we don't know everything as of yet, we do have very good indicators as far as what is causing PNES and what we need to do to counteract those causes. For a traditional PNES trauma-induced uh, person, we have fight or flight and hyperdrive. There are certain parts of our brain that are overactive and in that overactive state, you're responding way too quickly way too often to things and fears as threats. Whereas maybe it is just a spider and it's not going to kill you. Maybe it's just a person walking their dog and not somebody who's trying to harm you. When you are stuck in this mode, the other parts of our brain are not able to create balance and harmony within the balance of our chemistry. So one, parts of our, one part of our brain or a few parts of our brain are shooting massive amounts or not enough chemicals. And that's when people start to refer to a symptom of chemical imbalance. It's a very normal thing. When somebody goes through a trauma, you go through different hypervigilance, different stages of hypervigilance, where you are stuck in fight or flight. And unfortunately, some of us, we have fight, flight, or freeze. So the purpose of the video today, though, is to one, reach out to those who are interested in not only getting back to a life before it, but transforming out of a life into something new, into something that you get to control and to help modify and create. Today though, very specifically, I wanna talk about the different types of therapies you can use. And these are not therapies that are necessarily led by somebody that you have to pay. In my own journey of healing, I didn't have the funds. I didn't have insurance. I'm from the United States, and if you don't have insurance and you fit in between you make too little and you make too much, that's not a possibility. So the traditional counseling was not available for me and to many who have this and who suffer. What I did have, though, is God. And I had two people that I'm fully convinced that God put in my life during that time. They stayed with me and walked through this journey with me. They watched as I did different techniques, tried different methods to turn off hypervigilant state and give it a break by utilizing other areas, creative areas of my brain. So, What I'd like to talk to you about are the different types that you can try at home, on your own. If you only were to set aside 15 minutes, you don't have to have a big budget for this. You can get lined paper. You can get regular pencils. Go in front of an object, a still object, or a moving object, and try to freehand it. If you don't want to do something that's in front of you, go outside. Look at the picture, look at, well, the picturesque view 
and get behind a camera or your phone, anything that takes pictures. Zoom in on the butterfly. Zoom in on the red flower. Go in and allow your brain to get completely saturated in your environment. Other forms of creation therapy, again, that will turn on good parts of your brain that are underutilized and allow certain parts that are overutilized to rest, are music therapy, garden therapy. Again, these are types of therapies that you don't need another person to walk through with you. 